Good morning, everyone. You're welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Review for today, Saturday, the 10th of July, 2021. I'm Ken Demajeko Dumi. Open Heavens is authored by Adam the Lord Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for a new day and a new dawn. We say, Blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that as we learn at your feet today, your word will illuminate our lives. You give us better understanding of your word, and the wonder working power of your word will find expression in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise to Lord. Hallelujah. The topic for today is the ministry of care. The ministry of care. And our memory verse is taken from Galatians 6, verse 10. Memory verse is taken from Galatians 6, verse 10. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Galatians 6, verse 10. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. A Bible reading is taken from Romans 15, verse 23 to 29. But now, having no more place in this parts, and having a great desire this many years to come unto you, whensoever I have, I take my journey into Spain, I will come to you, for I trust to see you in my journey and to be brought on my way, dear Peter Ward, by you. If First, I be somewhat filled with your company. But now, I go unto Jerusalem to minister unto the saints, for it had pleased them of Macedonia and Achaia to make a certain contribution for the poor saints which are at Jerusalem. It had pleased them verily, and their debtors they are. For if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things, their duty is also to minister unto them in carnal things. When therefore I have performed this and have sealed them, sealed to them this first, I will come by you in Spain. And I am sure that when I come unto you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the reading of his words in our heart in Jesus' name. Amen. The message. In today's scripture passage, Apostle Paul teaches us one missing ingredient of true discipleship in today's contemporary church, the ministry of care. That's why the great anointing which Apostle Paul was ministering to the Jews and Gentiles alike, he was still particular about the ministry of care. Jesus Christ taught on the importance of hospitality when he said, For whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name, because ye belong to Christ, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. Mark 9 verse 41. In Matthew 25, 35 to 40, he says, For I was hungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when when saw we thee, and hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? And the king shall answer, and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these brethren, ye have done it unto me. The Bible reinforces this in James 2, 15-16. If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to their body. What does it profit? Children of God must engage in the ministry of care, along with any other that we may have been called into. This makes our calling a complete and perfect one. The needy among us should be given consideration at all times, even as we preach the gospel to them. James 2, 15-16 Indeed, many have testified that taking care of the needy has provided opportunities for effective sowing. As a Christian, 
Are you socially responsible as directed in Isaiah 58, 6 to 7? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic for today once more is the ministry of care. The ministry of care. And like we have been told today, that despite the great anointing that Apostle Paul was ministering to the Jews and the Gentiles alike with, he was still very particular about the ministry of care. And we are told that that is one ingredient of true discipleship. So there is really no true discipleship without the ministry of care. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are also told that Jesus, our Lord Jesus Christ told us of the importance of hospitality. You know, by letting us know that when you do this, there you will not lose your reward. So therefore, there is reward when you engage in the ministry of care. Like he said in Mark 9 verse 41, that whosoever shall give a cup of water to drink in my name, because ye belong to Christ, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. And we are also being made to understand by our Lord Jesus Christ that whenever we do this, even to the least of the brethren, we are actually doing it for him. Just like the parable he gave in Matthew 25, 35 to 40. He said he was hungered and he gave him meat. He was thirsty. He gave him drink. He said, stranger, you took him in. Naked, you clothed him. He was sick, you visited him. In prison, and you came unto him. And the righteous will answer that, when did I do this? He will now tell them that, in as much as you have done it, he said, and the king answered, that in as much as you have done it unto the least of those of this, my brethren, you have done it unto me. So as you visit people, as you, the people that are hungered, as you give them food, the thirsty one, you give them water to drink, you house people, you are not only just doing it unto them, but you are doing it to the Lord. And indeed, will be rewarded accordingly in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We're also told, we're also given another Bible passage where it says, If a brother or sister be naked and destitute, and of and destitute of daily food, somebody comes to you and says, Oh, I'm very hungry. Oh, this is what I'm going through. And all you do is just you pray for the person. Oh, peace be unto you. Be filled in Jesus. And you have done nothing. The Bible says, What does it profit? That is, you have actually done nothing unto the person. Yes, it is very important that you give that person a spiritual food. But then, you should also bless the person with material things. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just like it was said in the Bible reading of today, that it had pleased them very little, that the adeptors they are. For if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things, as they have given them spiritual things, their duty is also to minister unto them in carnal things, that is, in material things. You can't go to a place of the need you are preaching the gospel, or some comes for you for counseling, and you know the person is in need, and you are preaching the gospel for the person. Even as the person has received the spiritual thing, it is also of necessity that we should engage in the ministry of care by also providing for them even in the of the canal minister unto them like you will say in canal things by giving them material things the food is a shelter is a cloth and the lord will reward us in jesus name just like we're told that there have been several testimonies that taking care of the needy has provided opportunities for effective soul winning praise the lord hallelujah we have been encouraged that as children of God, in whatsoever ministry that we have been called on to, we should also engage in the ministry of care. That when we add the, when we engage in the ministry of care, alongside the ministry we have been called on to, is it the ministry of teaching, healing? Whatsoever that ministry that you have been called on to, it is important, like we we're told at the beginning, that it is one of the major ingredients. You know, it is the key ingredient to true discipleship. And when we do that, that, that makes our calling, our ministry, a complete and perfect one. We may have a complete and perfect ministry in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. If we're doing that, then it is a complete and a perfect one. And like we've been told, this actually gives, because at the end of the day, in whatsoever ministry that the Lord has called you onto, the whole essence of it is to win souls. 
is to go ye into the world and make disciples of men and women. To make disciples of everyone all over the world, regardless of who, um, not discriminating. And to make it effective, to make this ministry and the mandate that the Lord has given unto us effective, we had to engage in the ministry of care. No wonder they say that makes our, our calling a complete and a perfect one. But being asked a question at the end of it, that are the Christian, are we socially responsible as directed by Isaiah 58 by 6 to 7? At that particular, those passages spoke about we losing bands of the wicked. Undo the heavy body. Let the oppressed, do you allow, when you see the oppressed, do you help them so that they can be free? Do you break yoke onto people? Do you help the needy by providing bread to the hungry? By bringing the poor that, are, that have been chased out, by you know, bringing them in, do you cover the naked? These are the ministry that we have been called upon. And in that particular Bible reading we read today, the 26, he said, For it had pleased them of the Macedonia and Achaia to make a certain contribution for the poor saints which are at Jerusalem. So it is high time that we are deliberate, we are intentional with the ministry of care. No, don't just take it passively because indeed there's a reward for it. It makes our calling complete and a perfect one. And it also makes the mandate that the Lord Jesus has given unto us to be effective, which is the mandate of soul winning. So it is a necessary and even from everything we should, like I said, we should be deliberate. We should be intentional with whatsoever that the resources that the Lord has given unto you. Can you set some aside so that this is actually set aside for the needy as you come across them, as you meet them in the church of God, even in any area that you see. And indeed, you should know that as you do this, you are doing it for our Lord Jesus Christ. And indeed, we will be rewarded. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Not only will we be rewarded, it's also make the mandate he has given unto us effective. May the Lord help us to do this and give us the grace to engage in the ministry of care and be rewarded accordingly in Jesus' name. Amen. The action point, it says, commit a part of your income to meeting the needs of those who lack one thing or the other in your community or in church so everyone around you commit you so that as they come you you know it does not become a burden unto you so you can help them from the post that you have set aside may the lord bless us in jesus name amen thank you so much for listening god bless you amen